My name is Adam Morito, and I've been a fisherman for over 25 years. In that time, I've seen some pretty incredible things happen on the water. Oh! 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 oh my god! I got it. Oh my god, Dad, look! Dad, look! Did you see that? For me, fishing is not just a sport. It's my purpose. So now, I've decided that it's time I share my life passion with all of you. Follow me around the island of Barbados as we catch, clean, and cook the amazing fish found in these waters. This is the opening series of On the Line. We're about a week and a bit away from full moon, but the, the moon's decent sized right now, so let's see if God has anything to do with it. I'm sure he has a lot to do with it, buddy. There we go. God, he's in control. From the man himself. <laughs> Today, we're fishing a place called the Shallows. They're made up of three underwater mountains that rise to approximately 200 feet below the surface. And the best method of hooking into bottom fish here is a technique called slow pitch jigging. Okay, so we just got to this place called the Shallows. The Shallows is divided into three parts, low shallow, mid shallow, and a place called London. It comes up to about 280 feet on the highest part here. You can see the bottom, all that green above that's lit up with fish. So we're gonna drop the jig down here, see what we get. Oh, we got a cook. It's also known as a squirrel fish. Look at that like medieval armory he's got there. Oh, gotta be careful. So see those spines on the top there, on his dorsal fin? Those will put holes in your hand or feet or anywhere else pretty easily. So when you're taking these guys off the hook, you gotta be really careful. Not super good eating, so we're gonna let this guy go. Let's see what else is down there. This place is pretty sharky too, so you wanna try to get the fish up as fast as you can. Ah. Call these mutton terps here. And it usually means we're on some sand, doesn't it? Yeah. See the teeth on them too? They are predatory fish. Let them go, eh? Yeah. See ya, buddy. So that last fish usually means we're on sand, so we're just gonna move the boat a little bit north and see if that helps us find more reefs. See if we can get one of those scamp groupers. The worst thing is when you think you have a good fish on and you pull it up and it's a jack. What do we have? He's coming up. Jack. That's why he was pulling so hard. The black jack. Look at his forehead. He looks like a bull almost, like a bull dolphin. And these guys feed on sprats, pinfish, little jacks, anything else that's down there. So we're gonna get him in the box. We'll see you in the kitchen. There he is right there. There he is right there. What is it? And it's a barracuda! Oh man, did he shoot up. Oh, Larry Paul missed the shot. It's okay, it's okay. Oh! Oh, Larry Paul gets him. Best gaffer in all the land. Barracuda are pack hunters, especially this size. They're considered a trash fish in a lot of places, Florida, Bahamas. But here, there's no ciguatera, very little mercury, and the toxins are virtually nil. They're amazing to eat here. Look at those teeth. Jagged, unlike a Wahoo, they're not in a uniform row. Catch of the day on a lot of restaurants in Barbados is Barracuda. I'm hoping this is finally the scamp grouper we came looking for. You'd be really surprised how much pressure these little guys can handle. What do we have here? A grouper! Oh, oh, it's a big rock hind! Wow! What a fish for, ha! Low shallow in 250. Wow, I spent the last like two weeks trying to find one of these on the East Coast. We come here on a day that's not doing too well and we get one. So this is called a rock hind. The locals here call it a buck hind. They don't really live on the West Coast, but here we are on the South where the Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea meet and we get this beautiful creature. And they are delicious. You can see in their mouth there, they have these very small 
but very numerous indented inverted teeth so when they grab onto their prey it's like a trap they can't get out it's a member of the strawberry grouper family that's actually a good size one too eh, Lair? yeah so yeah we're gonna stick around here and <laughs> go get some more awesome it's gonna be great what is it oh it's another one wow what a beautiful fish again. Look at that. Look at those dorsal spines with the yellow tip on top. Now these guys camouflage into the reef pretty well. Look, he's changing color now. Kind of like a Nassau grouper when they get out of water. I'm happy we found these here. I had no idea that these hinds were actually out here. What is this? What is this? It's a scamp grouper! Species acquired, baby! I am the smartest man alive! Never gonna die! Look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Oh, forget the other shallows. This the one! Look at that! See the yellow tinge on their lips there? So you know it's a scam. Same tooth pattern as those nice buck hinds. Look at him, he's changing color now. Beautiful. Excellent eating. Look at his tail too. His tail is almost like a broom. It's not a broom tail grouper, but it's similar. Wow. What a find here today. See the smile? You can't see it, you can hear it. It's a good day. Nice box. Wow! You won't find that in Barbados very often, so today's a pretty special day. Look at his dorsal fin all the way up now. The yellow tinge on the spikes. Wow. And you gotta be careful because these are designed to protect him if he tries to get eaten by something bigger. And they are sharp. Razor sharp. A great day fishing the shallows always ends with us taking our catch out of the ice and filleting it straight off the back of the boat. I learned a long time ago that the only way to really know that your fish is as fresh as possible is to control the entire process from the ocean to the table. Something about living by the ocean. Now there's something, I mean we've got seven oceans on the earth, but they're all connected which means I can literally get to Australia from here. I can get to my place in Toronto from here. I can get anywhere in the world from here. And there's a vastness, there's a mystery. You kind of know it's in the ocean, but you really don't. It could be something different every time. It's unpredictable. It's mysterious. I love it. These fish are pretty sturdy, so you don't have to worry about going through the backbone. Now work our way all the way down the backbone, let the knife do all the work. That beautiful rock hind fillet. Knock the ribs out. off just like that look at that beautiful rock hind fillet we're gonna take the pin bones out after we wash them in the kitchen nice scamp Let's see what the difference in meat looks like same thing straight down always have the knife angled down so you don't any don't miss any meat on the backbone that marble I guess. Beautiful. Anything from the Jack family I try to stay away from in terms of eating it just because they're not good. But apparently Black Jack has white flaky meat so we're about to test. Right up to the tail. Time for the big reveal. That's 50-50. That still looks a little jacky to me. Take the ribs out. Take the 
skin off. I want to see what the bloodline on this fish looks like. I want to see if it's as thick as all the other jacks. And that's the problem with jacks, is you really can't get all the skin off in one. So we'll trim that up in the kitchen. It doesn't look all that bad. I don't know, you tell me. That actually looks like a, that almost looks like a hind fillet. These are actually perfect eater size barracudas, about three, four pounds. Look at that knife just making work. That fillet, I mean the bottom half of that fillet looks like any rockfish you would get out here. With the variety of bottom fish we caught today, a famous spot called Local & Co at the north end of the island is perfect to prepare our catch. Local & Co's charcoal fire grill, smoker, and locally sourced ingredients allow for a diverse menu that truly recognizes the importance of sustainability, the health of our oceans, and growing the local economy through food production. That was a nice looking barracuda actually. Yeah. 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 Like anything over 10, 12, 15 pounds, the meat gets a little mushy. Yeah, that's the first blackjack I ever filleted. I used to, I, because I hate jacks, right? Anything like Almaco, Amberjack, all that sucks. Horseside Jack, I hate that. So when I got the blackjack, I was like, oh, this is going to be another one. That's, that's sweet, nice white meat. Like, that's good. Yeah, actually. So our, our, our chef actually came up with a good recipe for it. So. Nice. You should love our ceviche today, huh? Coconut milk, vinegar, yeah. and wine. Yeah, Diced tomatoes, tomatoes, okay. Red onions. Cilantro. Is that just shaved pickle? No, but it's actually kind of sliced. Sliced, yeah. No, you guys are definitely my favorite restaurant this side of the island. All right, let's give this a try. Barracuda, blackjack ceviche with a flower. Oh my God, that is amazing. Thank you. You get the acidity and the firmness of the fish because it's so fresh. Look at that. You can see the marbling in it. Yeah, Look how it's showing on the water. Yeah, your chef's proper. I'm the fisherman. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's like catching the fish. My job is easy. <laughs> this is the important one. Oh, wow. I'm not giving you the finger. I dislocated it, so now I have to... No way. No, it's cooked. Ceviche is cooked. Now we got the fish that we caught earlier today. We've got a mix of grouper and grouper, rock rind. Right. And how long does it take to cook on this? Well, this fish, because this fish is more soft and delicate, it should not be that long to you. We say four to, four to six minutes. Fill it with some herbs, put some, some sliced lemon on the top. And we can put it on here, and we can put it on the grill, and we will wrap it. Do you ever get worried that that actually cooks the fish before you put it on? No. To, no? Well, actually, when you get in the process and you actually, um, something that you're doing daily, you actually start to learn timings, especially in different fish. So, when you feel, for, for me personally, when I feel textures of different fish, yeah. I, 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 I don't even know how long it took. Oh, nice. What's your favorite fish on the island? Um, right now, mine. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of summer camp, but like nothing like it. Just the fire part. <laughs> We're six minutes. All right. It's not cold in here. It's not cold. I'm not cold. Look at that. Woo! It's hot. Let me take Look at that. Oh my god. Wow, you can smell the. What is that, thyme on top? Yeah, thyme yeah. and chives. What's this? Salsa verde. Salsa verde. 
I gotta try some of that pepper sauce too. Hot. Oh, can't forget the corset. <laughs> Drizzle that over. Look at that. Let me show you. Can you see that? So you can see how the butter literally got into the core of that filet and juiced it from the inside out. Let's try. Oh my god. Oh. Come to local and go, try it for yourself. But bring your own fish. <laughs>